What's the reason when there is no output from an inverter? It's most likely due to the fuse inside of the device. Today, we will tell you how to judge whether there is a problem with the fuse and how to replace the fuse in the inverter. First of all, remove the outer case of the inverter to track the inner structure. The fuse is generally located near the input terminal. More often than not, the fuse will have a capital A for amps and its name fuse written on it. We'll use a multimeter to measure the resistance between the two panes of the fuse. That the measurement approaches zero suggests the fuse remains intact. If the resistance measures infinite, in other words, an open circuit occurs, that means the fuse has blown. Before installing a new fuse, make sure you choose the right type according to the specifications of the inverter, and to install it, just insert it into the original place. Inverter sellers usually provide customers with a few more fuses in case of emergency. At ATO, we have pure sine wave inverters and modified sine wave inverters available with voltage options to choose from. Welcome to visit ATO.com or click the link below the video to place an order.